Hello everybody, welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and choosing to spend some time with me today. I'm so excited to bring you this video. It is now Saturday afternoon and as soon as this video is finished and edited, we will put it up this, this evening, tonight. When As soon as it's done, we'll put it up. But I am going to be showing you all of the new Etsy items I've been creating since my shop was closed. And I did have to close it before Christmas, uh, mainly because I had an injury. And now I am 100% better. So I'm so thankful to God for healing me so quickly through one or two chiropractor visits. So that was awesome. And I've been cranking away around the clock to try to not only make a bunch of new Etsy items, but to make a quantity of those items so that when you order them, they will be shipped out right away. And I won't get bombarded and feel stressed and things like that. And then have to work at night when Matt's home. And anyway, so I am so excited to show you everything. My daughter created some new stuff. Matt's been helping me. It's just been such a family affair. It's been awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that will be launching on Monday, as well as all of my other items I already had. And I just want to thank you for your patience and understanding that I did need to close the shop. And Anyway, it will op the shop will open Monday morning. I'm not sure what time. When I wake up, it will open on, which I believe Monday's the 15th. My birthday's on the 18th. So if you're torn between placing an order or not, place it in lieu of my birthday. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, I'm excited to show you everything. I'll stop saying that. Before I show you stuff, I need to take care of one thing, and that is I need to announce two giveaway winners. So in a Friday video, I randomly popped this in there and because we were talking about saving and my 2024 goals. And one of them was saving for the future, investing for my Roth IRA. I purchased this. It's one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And I purchased this from Lemon Ivory, one of my all-time favorite shops ever. And I purchased two extras to give away to you guys. So the hashtag was Lemon Ivy, and I went ahead and used the random comment picker and picked two winners. So I will put them up on the screen in just a moment, but the two of you who won will be receiving the challenge and then the free sticker they so kindly included for you as well in case you want to put it on the envelope. So I'll be mailing those out as soon as I hear from you. So I'll go ahead and put the screenshot of the winner winners, but the first winner for this giveaway is Sunflower Budgets 7. So I'll have Matt put that up on the screen. And so congratulations to Sunflower Budgets 7. You are our first winner. And then the second winner for this is, and I'm going to mispronounce the name and I'm so sorry, but either Jamil or Jamil Charles. So I know exactly who you are. You are such a huge supporter of my my channel and my shop and I appreciate you. I was so happy you won, but um, you are the second winner of these. So please send me a message either on Etsy or on email. My email is in the bottom of every description box and let me know your full name and your mailing address or what you wanted addressed to and I will send those right out. So I hope you guys had fun with that little giveaway. I have all kinds of things to give away this year and I wanna do a bunch of giveaways. So stay tuned for those. I do have a lot of new items, so I'm going to try to go quickly, but I just want to say one thing first, and that is in my shop, I'm going to probably put the ship date for everything that it's going to be two weeks or two weeks of processing time, which means business days. So if you look when it says, if you order it today, it will be delivered between this date and this date. It's going to say something really far out, but most likely you're going to get it a lot sooner. OK, I just did that so that it allows me to put out more quantity. But like I said, I've been working a lot so that the things that take a lot of time to make, I already have some in stock. So just know that that is not going to be the date you get it. If I have something and I tell you, oh, I have not, I have all nine of these already made and you place an order for just that one thing, I'm probably going to ship it out the next day or the day after. So just please keep that in mind. OK, so the first Two things I'm going to show you are printables that Addie made. So my daughter, Addie, or Busy Junior, as she calls herself, made this printable. 
So she made two Valentine's Day printables for our shop. So for this one, you're gonna save $100 and it came out to 90 so I had her put a bonus 10 on the side and it's just a printable and I had her do really thick lines so that it'll be easier to color in and your coloring will look beautiful and then faint gray numbers so they're numbers one through five on here so and then of course the bonus 10 so I wanted to make something that hopefully everyone's budget can handle and then for those of you who aren't big Valentine's Day fans or don't like like pink we did another one in blue, and this one can be roll the dice. It, it's just really open-ended. You can color these in and then roll the dice and write the number over it. Or if you don't like to color, you can roll a dice and just write the number in. Or you can decide how much you want to save for Valentine's Day, and you can go ahead and fill in all the numbers and then color it in as you save. So you can do it how any way you want, but these will both be in the shop tomorrow morning and they will be $3 each. So I hope that you like those. The next thing, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is the next scratch off that Addie made. So Addie made an Easter scratch off. I actually think it is so super cute. It's one of my favorites and the things underneath are super cute. It is a mystery total. I did forget to have her write the number, the numbers in here that the, the number range but I will have that in the description. And just to let you know, the numbers are two through 10. So the smallest number is two, the largest number is 10. And the envelope to go with it is going to be this envelope and I'll show you too. I know this is an extreme close up, so um, I hope it doesn't get blurry, but the inside is pink. But again, not everyone loves pink, so it's kind of hidden in there, but it's gonna come with this A5 envelope and everything I show you today is laminated in the thick five mil. Everything has corners rounded. So it's nice and thick and sturdy. And this has rolled rose gold stickers because I think they're super cute. And they kind of go with the pink on the inside of the envelope. And I just liked this so much. So it's also going to come with an extra set of the rose gold one inch scratch off stickers so that you can do it more than one time. And as usual, this whole set will be $15, just like all of my other ones. I have 20 of these already made ready to ship. So I am going to let you know the quantity I have ready to ship so that again, if you want something shipped right away, you'll know. Anyway, let's move along. I have three more things to show you. Actually, the next thing I have, it's in three parts. So I probably shouldn't have said three more things. So anyway, I made Easter boxes and these are going to be a little different than boxes I've made in the past. These are kind of the larger boxes and not my little mini ones. So I have three sets. So I do want to show you all three of them so you can see the patterns. I don't know what they're going to be called. I did put my logo sticker on the front. I think it looks cute. And I put that on the front of all the boxes. So for this set, basically, you are going to get... Um, so I have three different sets I'm showing you. Like I said, I made three different scrapbook design sets. They are all going to come with a die. They're all going to come with or die, a dice, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to have the numbers one, two, and three, two times each. Okay. So the point of this, and here's my logic behind it. I wanted to do some Easter cards that are larger. They're, um, I believe, two inches by three inches, but all the dimensions will be in the dis um, is it the description of my listings. And if you guys know, I put so much information in there if you read them. So these cards, they are single-sided, but I made sure they all have two scratches. There will be, there are 28 cards. So 28 cards, two scratches on each. And the idea of this was to make it for any budget. So if you're low budget, you can buy this. If you have a higher budget, you can buy it. So it comes with this die and you're gonna scratch a number. And then my idea was to roll and multiply. So I made sure that these numbers are smaller and then because you're gonna multiply it by one, two or three. So because of that, for all three of these boxes, the numbers only go up to seven. So the numbers in here are one through seven. So the most you would have to stuff for a roll would be if you scratched a seven and then you rolled a three, you would owe $21. So if you did it, if you played the game this way, the most you would ever 
O is $21 and any other roll in combination would be less. Now, if you, if you, that's still not enough for your budget, you can use a six sided die, an eight sided die, a 12 sided die and multiply. Or you might say, I can't put 21, I can't do $21. However, if I got a seven and I had to multiply it by three, that's 21. You could take the seven and add the three. Or if you're super low budget, you don't even have to use the die. But I know these dies are hard to come by and they're expensive. So I wanted to include it in this set for you. So I hope that explains how it can be used for any budget. Let me go ahead and I'll stop talking and I'll show you the patterns. So for this set, there are lots of, actually I should go like this so you can actually see it. There's lots of um, pink and turquoise. So in some um, kind of like a sherbet orangey color and salmon. And I just think this is beautiful. I made nine of these, but then I gifted one to my super close friend, Donna Marie, who I spent the day with and we celebrated our birthdays on New Year's Day. So anyway, I think I went through the set once. So anyway, that is the first box. And so I don't know what it will be called, but it will have, um, I'll probably have a separate listing for each and you'll see all the pictures so you'll know it's the right one. So the next set I have, um, nine of this one and then I have nine of the next one I'm going to show you and I just know I just know people like different colors and designs now for some reason only on this set I use the biggest logo sticker so I think it looks kind of obtrusive but I know it's not a huge deal but this so this this set has a larger logo sticker than the other two sets but let me show you this one quickly too so same thing it has um it has 28 cards and two scratches on each. And it has, um, for these two, the first two sets I'm showing you, there are 14 different patterns, which I think is pretty cool. So basically there are 14 patterns and you will only repeat each pattern twice. Okay, so now we're back to the beginning, I believe. So 14 patterns times two times each is 28 cards. So there you go. So let me show you the last set and then I'm going to tell you something about the dice. So for this set, this is, these are, there are 28 different cards. So nothing repeats, but they're similar. Sorry, I did an extreme close up and I keep forgetting. I have to pull my hands closer than I normally do. So for this set, this is for those of you who think the little the Easter peeps you eat are cute and who love color. I know I love color. So anyway, this is the colorful set. And let's see, it was supposed to start like this. Let me see. I'm just going to fan through some of these. You know, I've put the stickers in different locations and different patterns, but um, it's kind of like it goes like a rainbow and it has lots of shades of different colors. And if you're a person like me who loves color, I just thought this was awesome. So I hope you can see these enough with me just fanning them, but it's pretty much the same pattern and it just goes through all the colors and all the shades. So again, this is the only set that has 28 different patterns and one of each. So I'm trying to explain these very thoroughly so no one will be confused, but you will get the 28 cards, two scratches on each card. And the intention was to roll and multiply but you can do it however you want. The next thing I'm gonna say is I try to order all pastel. It was like a lavender colored purple dye. And I thought that would be pretty to have a pastel purple. Well, they only had one in stock, so I bought it. And when they came, they're a dark purple. I still think it's beautiful. So I did buy another set and you can see, you can look at the colors there. So basically when you place the order, I'll probably use up the purple first, but if you happen to like one of these colors in here, you can go ahead, or if you really like this purple, go ahead and put it in the comments. I cannot promise you you'll get the color you asked for, but say you love red. I think this is red, this is orange, or you like black, and this is a black with, this has red ink, this has like a lighter orangey brown ink. I mean, if there's something you like, ask for it, and if I can accommodate that, um, I definitely will. So the sooner you order, the sooner of the chance you'll get the color dye you want if you request the dye. Anyway, so that is all I wanted to say about those boxes. So before I show you the last two items, I just want to tell you I've been geeking out buying. Um, oh, I have two of that one. I've been geeking out buying stickers. I'm 
sorry, that wasn't the set I was going to show you. I had a different, oh, okay, here we go. I just wanted to show you one of each. Look how cute these stickers are. I was so excited. I wanted to buy some stickers for my orders for the winter and for um, Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So these are so cute. I can't wait to use them on my orders. I've been so excited. And look at these bears. So anyway, that's the fun thing about having an Etsy shop if you like stickers. Okay, so let me show you the next item. Now, this is an ABC game. So in this, it came, it comes in this and I'm gonna leave it in this. So these are all the letters of the alphabet in different colors and you're gonna receive it like this. I didn't wanna have to be noisy and open it up. So I already did that for you. So it, you, will, you will get it in, they'll be poured in this pouch. I actually will probably just give you the, I'll probably not unseal it. I'll probably just keep it in the plastic bag for you. But anyway, all of these letters of the alphabet, um, they fit in, they do fit in this bag. So if they, I don't think they fit in the bag in this, but I'll, they definitely fit in the bag. So for this game, what you're going to do, it comes with four game boards. So, so I wanted you to be able to really utilize these and to, really get your money's worth. So, and I tried to make stuff for every budget. So for this one, you're gonna pick a letter. This is a C, color in the corresponding letter. So you'll color in this C. And again, Addie made these. Um, and then you're gonna save the amount it tells you. So this says you're gonna save three. And by coloring it in, you'll know that you already picked this one and then you can leave it out of the bag. And so once you get through the whole alphabet, this saves you $351 and because there are 26 letters in the alphabet and there are 26 bi-weekly pay periods for some of you, it might be a fun one to do every time you get paid if you want to take a year to finish it up. Okay, and then let me quickly show you these other ones it comes with. So the next one, I wanted to make the same game but lower income. So instead of it equaling $351, dollars I just made up, I used the random number generator and um, it comes to 115. So I just, when I use the random number generator, I only went up to seven. So I went from one to seven. So seven's the highest number. So you play the same way. You're just gonna get a much smaller number beside it. So let me move on quickly. This one is a game that's gonna save you 200. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put stickers on those two. Okay, well, I'll just cover them up with my finger. Same thing, you're gonna pick a letter from, pick a letter from the bag, find the letter, scratch, and save. And it says right here, the numbers range from four to 12, and you will save a total of 200. And then the last one, I was trying to think of just different things. This one, you pick a letter, and then you roll a die, and then you write the number in the box and save that amount. So this could be, again, you know, for any budget, you can use even use, if you have a really small budget and you want to play, you can use a three-sided die, I mean a six-sided die with the numbers one through three twice like I am including with my Easter boxes. So anyway, there's four totally different games to play. So you'll get the bag, you'll get the letters, and they're eraser letters too. So um, you, if you if you decide you don't want to budget anymore and you don't want to play the games, you can use them as erasers. Um, and then you'll get these four laminated game boards. So that's what's going to come with that. I forgot to tell you, the Easter boxes are going to be $35, and then this ABC game series is going to be $37. And I will tell you this, I normally include in the listing an envelope, an A5 punched envelope, but I'm not with this. So I just don't want you to think I forgot to mention it. I'm having trouble getting them. So this listing does not come with an envelope for this ABC game. Okay. So if you're still watching, let me go ahead and show you the last thing quickly. The last thing are fortune cookie erasers and they are meant to be a booster. So here's what I mean. You could, I, there is, the only thing you're gonna get is what you see right here. You're gonna get this bag and when you open it up, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this sealed bag that has 12 fortune cookie erasers. They're very hard, but they're erasers. They look like plastic and they all have a blue slip in them. And the blue slip tells you what to save. So the idea of this is to be a booster thing. Okay. So I'm going to show you an example of one, but you can, um, when you get it, you can unseal the bag, dump them in there and then pick them randomly. So 
again, it's not coming with a challenge. So this is meant, say you have, um, okay, let's use Tracy for an example. So Tracy has her, like she's a category called car tabs. Okay. And those are due on a certain day. Well, when she does her, fills her savings funds or her sinking funds, she does it with a randomizer game. So if she doesn't keep landing on that one, the day is going to come and she's not going to have enough money in that category because she hasn't been landing on that when she rolls. That's where this comes in. You can do these to boost a certain category. So these are going to be called like booster fortune cookies. You can also, if you have just any category you need to add more money into, this is a great way to do it is to use these once in a while. So anyway, or maybe you're at the end of a savings challenge video, like the very last video I filmed and you have too much money left over and you don't know what to do with it. You can pull these out and add it to a category, but let me show you an example. So I just have a, a paper bowl and Matt helped me so much with these. It was so nice. So let's, sh I'll show you what's going to happen. You're going to pull it out, open this up. And I want to show you an example. So you know what I mean? I don't want to give a bunch away, but this says, Number of pets in house. I'm going to put it up really close. Number of pets in house, if none, save $12. Okay, so there you go. Either save the number of pets you have or save $12 if you don't have any pets. So the idea of this is to just add a little bit, not a whole lot, but just to bulk up some categories a little bit. Or there are 12 of them. Maybe you have 12 um 12 categories you just want to add a little bit more to. I know um, sometimes Ange does has played games where she's add a little, added a little bit to every category. Let's pick one more and just see what it says, just to give you another example. Hopefully it's a good one. Number of states you've visited. So anyway, these are just little, little things. I do have a few in here that will change, meaning um, the question it asks you, it will be, um, it could be different the next time you play. I wanted to make sure that you wouldn't always have the same answers. So anyway, I hope that you have fun with this. I had a lot of fun creating it. And anyway, that's what it looks like. And like I said, you'll get it in this pack. I think it's so cute. So that is going to be only $12. And these were actually super expensive. But I wanted to have something that was like a game that everyone could afford or hopefully everyone could afford. And so Addie told me that... I needed to put down the price of these and sell them for $12, even if I didn't make a lot off of it, because she wanted everyone to be able to afford them. So these are only going to be $12 each, and I have a ton of them, and they are complete, ready to ship. Okay, so I know I just gave you way too much information, but I'm just going to go ahead and set these out, probably to make a thumbnail. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing these things that are going to be in the launch, and again, it it will be open sometime Monday morning. I'm not sure what time, but I hope to see you over there. And I have so many things that are already made that, like I said, I'm going to just start shipping them. I'll start shipping them right away. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I created. And remember to, if you are still listening, remember to tell me in the comments, if you do plan on, on buying something, what's your favorite item or what's what items would you are you interested in purchasing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you soon. Bye. 